Hi, this is Phil Chandler, and I'm sitting here beside a little stream on the edge of Dartmoor, and I've been doing some thinking, which I know is always dangerous, but nevertheless, um, I've been thinking about what's the best thing to do as regards teaching material, and I've been thinking about doing a structured course for particularly for top bar highs because that's probably what people know me for uh, more than anything else and uh, top bar hives are still I still very much use them and they're still actually my favorite type of hive but I'm also using a lot of other different hives and uh, doing a lot of different things so I could do a an online top bar hive beekeeping course I could do that and I'd, obviously I'd have to charge money for it and you know it would provide me with an income and it would provide people with some uh, hopefully useful information about uh, keeping bees in top bar hives and I'd be very happy to do that however I think my thinking has, has gone along the lines of well yes I could do that and I could put it on one of the online platforms that uh, pr provide the facility for, um, for for people to access course material and so forth. Uh, but there would still be people who either couldn't afford it or it would be a stretch for them to afford. And I'm thinking that maybe my time is better spent making short videos and just putting them up on YouTube probably. And following people's feedback so if you're interested in keeping bees particularly in top bar hives although I will be doing other videos as well um, maybe you could just leave a message below and just let me know because I'm I'm just trying to figure out what the best thing to do right now is and I'm more than happy to to do a series of top bar hive videos starting with you know right from the beginning even even starting with actually building a hive I, I'm quite happy to do that um, I could go th right through the whole sequence of getting bees into the hive, uh, how to keep them building straight, more or less straight lines, you know, what type of bars to use, all that kind of stuff. There's, a lot, there's quite a lot to it. And I could put that into a, a, a series of a sequence of videos, put that up on YouTube, and then everybody can access it. Um, now, if I, if I go that way, and, and I'm, as I say, I'm very happy to do that, but if I do go that route, what I would like is... If, if possible, those of you who can afford to, to pay a couple of quid here and there for information and for, for, for watching useful, what I hope will be useful videos, uh, don't send me your money. I don't want your money. I want I, what, I, what I would like is for you to give it to um, an organisation called Friends of the Bees, which is of which you know I full disclosure I am director of Friends of the Bees, um, but. I don't get paid by Friends of the Bees. I don't get any money from Friends of the Bees. All it does is to fund projects that we carry out. And what I would like to do is to have money coming into Friends of the Bees to be able to use it in conjunction with um, other people in, on a project basis to develop um, different projects addressing different areas of beekeeping, but also addressing the area of um, native bees and how to provide habitat for other pollinators particularly. So again, quite a wide coverage and Friends of the Bees, our, our um, stated purpose is to, um, is to make Britain a better place for pollinators, which is obviously a big, a big um, picture aim, but within that there's lots of things that we can actually do and the main thing I want to be able to do is to produce educational material just to get people in the into the frame of um, not just thinking about honeybees, but actually thinking about other pollinators, other bees as well. What I'm going to suggest is that I could do a series of videos on top bar hives, and I could do another series of videos on uh, vertical top bar hives, which uh, including my quadratic hive. Uh, I could do a series on queen rearing in top bar hives, for example, or queen rearing in non-standard hives in general. Um, we could do some stuff on breeding bees, actually, how do you select for breeding and so forth. Um, there's, there's a lot of possible angles to this, so I could do a number of different series of videos, put them all up on, on YouTube as, as, as they're made, and then people can just access them. It'll be in the public domain, people can access them freely. 
and um, if you would like to contribute to the, the the costs of making these videos, which aren't huge, but you know they're there nevertheless, um, then if you want to send a, a donation along to Friends of the Bees, the website address is below, um, but it's friendsofthebees.org, O-R-G, um, that would be greatly appreciated because that enables us to do lots of other things. So. That's the plan so far. So leave your comments in, in the uh, in the boxes below and let me know what you think of this idea, what in particular you'd like me to cover, um, what different series of videos you'd like me to do, um, and, and things like that. Just give me some feedback. Let me know what you want from me and I shall do my best to provide. Okay, thanks a lot, guys.